Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. Hello, my fellow peeps. It's good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. I am King Boomer. You guys probably already know that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I welcome you to hang out and practice all levels of Muppetry here on the channel. Uh, this one should be good. It's Would I Lie to You with John Rich Richardson in it. Uh, what I Lie to You is probably my favorite show when it comes to live shows from the United Kingdom. It's it's quite fun. I've been told that the whole... It's not really important about you know whether they're lying or not. It's just the funny banner back and forth between <coughs> the uh, panelists. But I enjoy trying to figure out if they're lying or not. I think that's probably the most fun for me. But of course I love the banner too. It's It's classic. But uh, I like the show so much that I've said before when I've done reactions to what I lied to you that this show is probably the one that I wish we had here in the States uh, uh, above them all because it just looks like so much fun. I'd watch this on a regular if it was here on air in the States. But uh, this one in particular, John Richardson, um, I guess he has a guitar teacher that's too attractive. Or does he? We got to find out. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's figure out if John Richardson is lying about this particular story. Let's give it a shot here. After just one lesson, I had to give up learning the guitar because I found my teacher too good looking. <laughs> now, before we figure out if he's lying or not, would you do that? Or would you keep paying lessons even if you weren't learning anything? I think the latter is more likely than the former, but, you know, I'd be interested in hearing your opinion on that. But here we go. Um, how old were you when you had these lessons? Uh, 30... <laughs> <laughs> Something? It was about... It was, I'd say it was three years ago. It's well known. You can't learn anything after the age of 27. That's it. Whatever you can do when you're 27, that's what you do. <laughs> Forget anything else. How is parenting going, Dave? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. That was a good comeback. And I like how David Mitchell appreciated it as well. That was good. Was it a man or a woman, your teacher? Uh, oh, shit, it's Olivia Colman. I didn't even notice her. Wow. <laughs> so it's, it's two of the main peeps from Peep of the Peep, Peep Show. Was it a man or a woman, your teacher? Uh, <laughs> which is funnier. It was a man. <laughs> which is funnier. <laughs> and were you attracted to him or you just found him objectively so good-looking that you thought this is intimidating? Uh, I am recently married. This is a threat to me. <laughs> <laughs> my wife booked me some lessons as a gift. He came to my house. I felt he was too good-looking to exist in my house. <laughs> and I simply never phoned him about the second Paint lesson. a picture for us. I never thought of it that way. It was a male teacher and he's in the house and you feel threatened by that. <laughs> we got to raise John Richardson's self-esteem up. Of this man. Maybe using Lee as a, as a base point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can picture almost the opposite. <laughs> there's, no, there's no need to go that far, John. He arrived on a bicycle. That upset me. <laughs> um, sweating. Guitar on his back. He was Spanish. That upset me. Um, <laughs> very ahead of my time there, Brexit-wise. Um, <laughs> this was before the vote. In fact, I actually organised the vote as a way of getting him out of the country. <laughs> said something like, yeah. can I bring my bike into the house? <laughs> I mean, I was all a quiver. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said, you can bring whatever you like, Alberta. But a visual, I want a visual picture. I mean, what... What, what colour were his short? eyes? <laughs> uh, have you ever seen a sunset? <laughs> <laughs> was your wife clearly thrilled to see him? She was upstairs, luckily. And why the guitar? Do you, are you into guitar, or did she just want you to play guitar? I want to learn the guitar. You don't need to learn an instrument to be in a band, do you, Aston? <laughs> <laughs> you 
can sell like 10 million records without playing a guitar, so you'd be fine. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but I'm assuming he's very successful music artist. <laughs> what do you think? Is he telling the truth? Oh. I don't think he's telling the truth. I don't think he's telling the truth. Just because he's he's like it seemed like he was trying to formulate answers too hard, you know. I I know you guys have told me it's not that important on whether he's lying or not, but I think it's fun to try to figure it out. I I think he's lying. He's taking too long to formulate answers, and it looks like his mind is wandering. So let's see. What do you think? Well, I, I did think it was the truth because I, the little I know of you, you seem like you could be worried enough <laughs> to feel that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, I don't know. I'm not sold. If I'll, you could I'll... move to true, that would really help me out. <laughs> <laughs> for, you, for, you, right, for you, I'll move, I'll move to true. Oh, the that, pressure. That means I don't have to think. <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. Saying true. John, oh, come on. truth or lie? It is... True. <laughs> oh, okay. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. It's true. John did stop having guitar lessons because he found his teacher too good looking. That's uh, that's very interesting. I don't know. It's even if I had a good looking guitar instructor, whether it was male or female, I don't think I would be too focused on actually learning. The guitar. I play some piano, but it's been a long time, and I'm not that good. It's just I know a few songs I could play. Maybe I need to invest in a uh, keyboard or, uh, or something so I can play some some of the tunes that I know and post them here on YouTube. Would you guys like that? I don't know. But anyway, back to the video. Like, yeah, I think I would be too focused on learning the instrument. Uh, to care whether or not that my instructor was attractive or not, regardless of sex. You know, and if it was a, if, in this particular situation, if it was a male instructor, you know, me and Queen Boomer have such a good relationship. We have the ultimate trust in each other. And even if, even if she said like a cheeky comment or something like, like, Hey, that is a very good looking, uh, guitar instructor, I would probably be like, yeah, I agree. I agree. He probably gets all the ladies, you know? I wouldn't be like, what'd you say, Queen Boomer? I'm shipping him out. And if you're not careful, you too. I would ne I would never do that. Um, but I feel like there's some people out there who, you know, maybe their self-esteem's not high enough or they, they're just uh, insecure that might do something like that. I don't, uh, not that I'm putting that on John Richardson, but... Um, Well, he did say it was true, so maybe he is like that. I don't know. But I'm not going to judge the guy. I think John... The, the s small amount of, uh, you know, video footage that I've seen of John Richardson on these shows and whatnot, he's, he's quite funny. He seems really laid back and like a real chill guy to hang out with, too. Like, I like him. So, but what about you guys? Would you guys kick an instructor out because they were too attractive? And I'd be interested in reading the answers too, because like you know, if you, let's say you're a man, because it's mostly men who follow this channel. Um, shout out to the ladies that follow the channel. Love you, love y'all too. But if you're a man, and then it's an attractive woman, would you kick her out? Or if it's an attractive man, would you kick her out? And what are your reasons? You know, I'd be interested in reading. You know how would how you would handle that particular situation. It's, it'd be definitely an interesting read. I didn't realize that this video was going to pop some uh, interesting questions. Um, and I'd be interested in reading your answers to them. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. And it was good to see David Mitchell and Olivia Colbin next to each other and, and not playing their peep show characters where they're at each other's throats all the time. <laughs> You know, that was, that was sweet. That was, I like seeing that. So anyway, boom rights. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and your King loves you. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.